Well, Joe Biden just doesn't have a tripping problem. His poll numbers are slipping also, and the Democrat media is working overtime to protect him, especially since today was the first hearing on Joe Biden's impeachment inquiry. Joining us now, veteran journalist Geraldo Rivera. Geraldo, um, Van Jones. Van Hi, Eric. Jones, how are you? Van Jones I, I, well, came thanks. out today, and so let's listen to what he had to say about Trump going to the UAW. Listen. It's a big tug of war. Uh, Union Joe versus versus the, the blue collar billionaire. I mean, th there's this uh, demographic which for a long time was presumably blue, uh, blue collar, blue voters. That was presumptive. And then in 2016, that blue wall cracked and it cracked because of uh, Donald Trump's appeal on NAFTA and that kind of stuff. And suddenly there's a jump ball. Interesting, Geraldo, how a, a New York billionaire can all of a sudden be some hero to, to blue collar workers. And I think last night proved it with the with the speech to the United Auto Workers Group. Well, first of all, Van Jones is my favorite commentator over at CNN. He's very uh, I think he's very fair, uh, very analytical. Uh, he divorces his personal emotions. So I give him a thumbs up. And he's absolutely right. It is a jump ball for the blue collar voter, Eric, as you know, uh, here in Ohio, uh, the working class white guy is for Trump. This is now a red state. This was a solidly blue state when I was uh, your age. Uh, and then, uh, you know, over the last couple of cycles with uh, Donald Trump, beginning of Donald Trump in 2016, uh, Ohio has now gone into the uh, into the red camp. Uh, and a lot of it is the working class. You know, there he may get uh, Joe Biden may get the, all the leadership of the United Auto Workers, uh, but the rank and file, uh, you know, many of them, I believe, uh, if, uh, if the last couple of cycles are any indication, will be voting for Donald Trump. Many of the working class people will be voting for Donald Trump, Eric, no doubt. Now, do you, do you think Trump is smart in staying away from, from these debates. I'm not sure if it's just Fox and he's trying to make a point with Fox, or I think he came out and said they should just scrap the debates going forward all, all, all in all. And you know what, Harald, you kind of have to agree with that. You know Donald Trump. You know what his policies are. We had four years of him. It's not like you need to find out what he would do if he were president. We already know that. I, I wonder if it would be a lot less chaotic if Donald Trump, though, Eric, had uh, had decided to appear uh, in that debate. I think there would have been far fewer of these uh, of these very noisy but uh, improbable candidates on that debate stage. It would have been far more interesting. Uh, does he need it to get the Republican nomination? Obviously not, unless something uh, dramatic was to change. Uh, for instance, this fraud trial, Letitia James, the attorney general, uh, is is forcing the Trump family into in the next uh, coming weeks, is certainly going to complicate uh, his life and his campaign. I hope that uh, these uh, the various litigation and criminal charges and so forth don't preempt the election. Uh, you have to beat Donald Trump at the polling place, uh, I, I say to Democrats, if they want to beat him, not in a courtroom. But it is bizarre, is it not, uh, to watch, uh, you know, multiple uh, cases being brought, civil and criminal, against the, uh, the former and, uh, and he hopes uh, future president. Uh, it's, uh, it's something that's extremely distasteful to me. I wish that uh, Biden would pardon Trump on anything he can pardon him on. Uh, and I, uh, I'm sorry, actually, that uh, the president is running again. President Trump is running again because I think that the mess we've had for the last four years is enough, Eric. You're sorry Biden is running again, you mean? No, no, I'm sorry that Donald Trump is running again. I'm sorry if I was uh, unclear. No, no, you say I Trump, but when you you're, you're sorry Trump's running again, the mess of the last four years is under Biden, or well, three years is under Biden. Well, I, I'm, I, as I said that, I realized that I was uh, creating a confusion. I meant with Trump being mm. in, Trump being arrest, uh, uh, indicted, uh, uh, the documents case, uh, the uh, the uh, uh, what's her name Stormy Daniels. Yeah, but you case. yourself said there's, uh, there's not the, a lot of uh, there there. Uh, Geraldo, you're you're a lawyer. The, you know, most of these don't rise to the level of like would they do it to 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 a person if it, his name wasn't Donald Trump? What they're doing to Trump, Letitia James and and F Fonnie Willis and and Jack Smith and the others. 
I, I agree. If it wasn't Donald Trump, they wouldn't bring these cases. That does not mean that a jury in Manhattan, for example, or in Washington, D.C., might not find that he is, uh, he is guilty of, uh, of some criminal act uh, or some, uh, uh, you know, whether it's the cover-up of the payments to Stormy Daniels or the hidden documents uh, in Mar-a-Lago uh, or, uh, you know, uh, the civil case being brought in New York on the valuation of these real estate properties. These are, these are, in absolute terms, these are massive complications for anybody, mm. including Donald Trump. Why he wants to bring this on himself and then have everything else, uh, you know, being brought back Jan January 6th and so forth, I don't know why he, why he bothers. Why well, he's doing well, one, one, uh, you know, reason, I, 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 one reason could be he's up by 50 points on the rest of the GOP field and 10 points on, on Biden. So whatever he's doing, it's working. Final thought. Well, what my final thought is that he now seems to me has to win the election so he can pardon himself. That's what it will come down to. Donald Trump will have to pardon himself the way things look. Right. No one is looking out for the best interests of the country, uh, not the Democrats in pursuing him, not him in insisting on running. Uh, it's, a, it's a mess. Trump has to win to stay out of jail. Yeah. And, uh, I, think I, think, I think he needs to win so that they stop doing it, so that the Democrats stop using the justice system that's another to, point to, of view. To, to penalize political opponents. Geraldo, really good having you on. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Eric.